<gasps> Rip. Well. Well, yo, he, did he just drive off? Ah, uh, he turned here. Maybe he didn't drive off. Betty. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, he just wasn't looking or something, man. Yeah, that's that truck's fault, 100%. Oh, no way, bro. No way. No way. Oh! What? How do you turn like that? That's crazy. Driver of the truck had no insurance, slipped in the... St oh! Oh! Airbags employed lots of scrapes emitted by the Honda, but everyone's fine. Oh. oh, it slipped on the ice. There's pro there's I guess there's ice or something we couldn't see. I fully acknowledge my stupidity. The car was deemed a total loss and it crumpled like paper. It was a Kia Soul. Oh! Bro! Dude, that would really piss me off. Okay, obviously there's a light here or something, right? Because this guy stopped. You know what I'm saying? This guy just didn't give a shit. Like, this is a red light. So, like, there's a... Over here, there's a light, and it's red. This guy probably didn't even see this car, because look at the angle. These two cars were probably blocking it, and how fast he's going. He was probably way, way, way back here. You know what I'm saying? So, it's this guy's fault. But then, this guy right here hit this guy, and it's not this guy's fault at all. You know? Anderson 911, what's the address of the emergency? Bro, God are damn it! Yup. Woman on her phone panics when she looked up to see my truck. Yup. Locked up the brakes and lost control. Nobody was hurt and both vehicles totaled. Yeah. 210, ambulance 213, ladder 195, car 219, motor vehicle collision 5300, 5698, interstate 80 eastbound highway, engine 250, car 219, motor This guy is such a f idiot, man. Vehicle collision 5300, 56. 98 Interstate 80 Eastbound Highway Engine 210 Ambulance 213 Speeding Gray Sedan attempted to merge but hit a red Prius. Ladder 195 Car yeah. 219 I uh, got uh, come westbound we have a Prius involved in the other median. Wow. Come on buddy. What are you doing here? <laughs> Is that an Amazon truck? It looks like an Amazon truck. That could have been a lot worse, man. This car could have like flipped or something. No one was No one was hurt, but the car was totaled. What? Really? The car was totaled? Rear axle snapped? 
You throw a whole car away for that? Yeah, okay, never mind. Total means the amount of damage is superior to the price of the car. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, I get that now. Okay, okay. Oh, God. All right. Well, oh, that's right here. Yep, that's a blind spot. Yep, that's a blind spot. Let me give you guys a piece of advice. Okay, look, guys, I'm not saying this because I think that the that the guy that this guy f***ed up. That's not why I'm saying it. I'm saying this just to protect yourself. Never, 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 never be in this spot with a truck. My advice to you is to get away from the truck, okay? It doesn't do, this is not a matter of, oh, well, it's, it's legal to do that. Oh, well, it's my right. No, 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 no. You know what's going to happen, man, if you do that? You're going to be dead because this guy probably, he didn't think about his blind spot. So the, bl like, basically the blind spot of a truck is like somewhere next to the, it's like somewhere next to the passenger door, depending on the size of the truck. Because the angle of the mirror, it can't actually see that that spot, but it can see the spot behind it. What I'm telling you guys is just stay away from the truck, man. <laughs> this is definitely the truck's fault. But what I'm trying to say is, man, is that like, let's say this, this could have gone a lot worse. Okay. That could have gone way worse. Ooh, it was already pretty bad. That could have gone way worse. Semi driver been in the left lane for several miles. No one was in her video was given to both drivers and to the police. Holy shit. Dude, he just kept driving, man. That's insane. Stay away from the truck, dude. Yeah, this is dude. Just look at this. Look, look at this road. Yup. Yup. Oh. Now he's swerving. Oh. Overcorrected and spun out some video to the police. Video protected. Damn. Bro. They didn't even try to stop. What? What in the... Oh my God, did someone hit him from the back? Somebody hit him from the back. Wow, that was really disoriented. I got hit by a 90-year-old man who was not paying attention right before Impact sent me in the incoming lane. Holy f***. Missing a tractor trailer by inches and getting nailed by a Jetta. I am lucky to have been driving my Tesla instead of my... Idiot. Oh. Okay, Garmin. Save video. I noticed a car driving erratically from the rear. I called 911 and handed it. Oh my god. Oh, Holy shit. Yep. There it is. He's just one paying attention, man. Ain't gonna work, ain't gonna work. Nope. Oh. No green arrow. This lion mother. No, no, no. Hyper disc. Hyper disc. 
Got him. Nah, bro. People don't lie. Oh. Oh, look. Green beating the red. He he beat the red. Yep. This guy's fault, 100%. The guy turning, 100%. Yep, 100%. Yeah, so the thing is, right, the thing is, this guy right here, he can't see this lane because this guy's blocking it. This is why you always, this is why if you can't, if you can't see the, if you can't see the lane, man, you have to always assume someone's going to be there and you look at the light. You know what I'm saying? There lies a long shadow. Dude, what was this, dude? A long shadow. There lies a long shadow. Oh. Yep, this guy's fault. What was that last time? Oh. The tower trim. <laughs> Oh! This okay, okay. Look, this exact thing happened to me. No, no, no. This is this this exact thing happened to me. And the reason and how this happens is because these guys over here they're being nice and they're letting these guys out. No, every time block them because what happens is this guy here they can't see this lane. No, this was actually serious because I like, no, I could have died. Actually, I remember, dude, after it happened, I was so full of adrenaline. Dude, you, you know, actually, after this happened to me, I couldn't lift properly for a f year, man. Like I went through some f hard times, dude, like mental, mental shit. That was rough. That was a rough time. This f lady pulled out in front, didn't see that I was coming because these people let, let her out. So she just drove right through and i was this guy i'm the driver yeah yeah see this is crazy fortunately no injury sent to anyone <sighs> my car was absolutely completely totaled if i would have had my seat belt on i would have flew out of the window and died this is my car oh i forgot to mention it was winter as well it was winter yeah that's my car it wasn't even my fault you know what's crazy the winter had nothing to do with it either the winter had nothing to do with it it's crazy man i remember because at the time me and nova were dating early that morning we like had an argument it wasn't anything like too crazy it wasn't like a screaming match or anything but it was like you know it was just some petty argument or whatever so we were like kind of irritated at each, at, at each other and then that happened holy f man i like sent her the f picture i was like i thought like this just happened to me i'm so sorry i love you you know whatever <laughs> And she was like, no, I don't care about any of that. You know what I'm saying? I told her, I was like, man, I think I'm, I think I just need to go live and talk about this. She was like, no, you need to go to the hospital, get checked out. She talked me into go to the hospital. I went and I like, I f***ed up my, basically from my shoulder. Okay. So what happened was the seatbelt, the seatbelt was here, right? Seat, the seat, the seatbelt was here. And when my body, when I, when I hit the airbag came out, but because of the stop, I still went forward a little bit. Now the seatbelt protected this side, but the other side flew forward like this and the airbag at the same time, my body flew forward, the airbag hit me and it absolutely destroyed like the muscles and stuff from right here all the way along my collarbone to like right here. I couldn't lift properly for like a year. Just to give you an idea, I was lifting, like I was bench pressing 300 plus pounds and I couldn't even do like one plate. That's how bad it f me. <laughs> like I went from like 
300 plus pounds on bench to not even one plate, which is 135. That happened. And then like over the course of a year, and I didn't go to physical therapy because the insurance, they, they didn't pay for that shit. Of course, they just paid for the car. So I looked up like things that you could do. And I did that shit for like a year, man, just to get back to where I was, man. I remember, <laughs> I remember <laughs> After I went to the hospital and I came back and, you know, all the adrenaline was out of my body, right? So my body was completely drained. At this point, I still hadn't taken a shower. I also spilled my drink that I had. So I'm like covered in all this like sticky Starbucks shit. I also have like, you know, I'm like sweating and stuff too. And uh, I literally took a shower and <laughs> I cried for like 30 minutes. <laughs> like I'm laughing about it now. I'm think, I, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of making it light now, but at the time, dude, you know how you turn the hot water on and if you stay in there too long, the water gets cold. I just like thought about everything in my life and thought about how I almost died. And I just sat there and I like cried for like 30 minutes in the shower. And I remember because the water started to get cold, it like kind of, I guess like shook me out of it almost. And then, and then after that, I was good. After that, I was good. I just needed that time. And like, I mean, I still drive. I have no fear of driving or anything like that. Now, don't get me wrong. I am, I am smarter. I am much more aware of driving. And I think about all this shit more. Anyway, sorry for the rant. Anyway, sorry for the rant. But yes, that happened to me. Yes, that happened to me. And I will never let a person out like that. Never. Because I don't want that to happen to anybody else. You can't script that. You can't. Oh. Oh. oh, shit. Yep. No, I can see why people would be afraid of driving. <laughs> no, nah, but let me, t let me tell you guys something, man. All of these rules and laws, they are just a suggestion. Now, I know that seems like crazy to think about, but at the end of the day, you really think this, this, this red light is going to stop somebody from f going if they want to go? Absolutely not. You got to protect yourself, man. It's not about what should happen, okay? Life isn't about how things should be. It's about how things really are. <laughs> and how things really are, they will run red lights, they will run stop signs, they will crash into the back of you, and sometimes there ain't nothing you can do. That's literally just life, man. Let me tell you the other accident I got in real fast. The other accident I got in, I had, again, no control. You know how you get off on the, the interstate, right? Or the highway. You get off on the highway, and you know how sometimes there's like a light, uh, light at the very end of the ramp, right? Okay, so I'm sitting there at the light. This guy gets off the highway, hits me in the back, doing 70 miles an hour. Just bam, hits me in the back. Now, luckily, I have my seatbelt on, but Marlby, because we're stopped, he took his seatbelt off for a second so he could like readjust himself. And at that very, very brief moment in time where he was adjust, like adjusting his, you know, himself in the seatbelt, that guy hit me. Let me see if I have a picture of that. He hit me so hard. The front of his car was underneath the back of my truck. He pushed me into the guy in front of me and it set off my airbag. Okay, I don't have a picture of the truck. I got a picture of Marlby, but it's got blood and shit on it, man. So I'm just going to tell you what happened. This guy hit me in the back. Marlby's head hit the front of the dashboard so hard that it fractured three of his vertebrae. He was in a neck brace for a month, and he couldn't lift properly for like a year plus. You know, to sit there and say like, oh, well, he should have had a seatbelt on. Like, that's not the point, man. The point is we were literally stopped in a light and who hasn't taken their seatbelt off and like readjusted to reattach it. It wasn't the fact that he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. You know, he wears his seatbelt. It's just completely unrealistic to think that you're never going to have to take it off briefly just to adjust something, man. Or maybe there's something out of your reach and you can't get to it. So you so you lighten it just for a second to reach to grab it and then you click it again. You know what was a driver on the phone? I have no idea, but the driver, he didn't have insurance, but it was like his wife or his mom's car or something. And he had his daughter in the back of the car too. And she didn't have her seatbelt on. And when he hit us, luckily she was in the back seat because if she would have been in the front seat, she would have flew through the window and probably in my 
cab. He just wasn't paying attention. His daughter or whatever, she was a little kid. I mean, I don't know how old she was, but she, I don't know. She looked like seven, eight. I don't, I, dude, I don't know, 10, something like that, man. She was very young. And if she would have been in the front seat, she would have been launched out of the car. Luckily, she was in the back seat. So she, when she did get launched, she just hit the, the seat. The first thing I did, I got out the car. I opened Marlby's door. He was a rag doll, man. I put my arm around him, carried him to the side. I kept asking him, are you okay? Are you okay? You know, like, tell me how you're feeling. Tell me how you're feeling. Just to keep him, make sure he wasn't losing it. You know what I mean? This is me and him. That might be hard to see, but yeah, he's in a neck brace, bro. No, he's fine now. No, he's fine now. This happened like five years or four or five years ago or some shit. I mean, I can't speak if he has any lingering issues. I can't speak on that, but anyway, sorry. Another rant. Ooh. Yeah, man, it doesn't matter how good of a driver you are. The police had me get my car towed and let it to the... Oh. <laughs> get me an off-kilter quip. <laughs> get me an off-kilter quip. So he stopped because he's trying to turn and someone isn't paying attention. They hit him from behind. What the? A teenager speeding and most likely on her phone hits me at full speed, never breaking totally my NC Miata. Jesus. She was found 100% at fault and I bought a nice 2009 RX-8 with the money. Bro, it literally says yield here, man. <laughs> literally says yield. Lady didn't yield for the roundabout and T-bone me, flipping my car around. Jesus. Mm. Tried to say that I hit her. Dude. F off. Oh, you know what, man? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Nah, that f bitch that hit me, that hit me, get this shit. I forgot. No, no, no. I forgot this part of the story. Ooh, this still makes me mad. That f lying that hit me, she tried to say that I was driving erratically. She tried to lie to the f police and say that I was driving erratically. Ooh, no, I'm still pissed off about that. You know what? Now, you know what the f police officer told me? He literally said, so she's saying you were driving erratically. And I was perplexed. I was like, what? I was like, no, I wasn't. I was going in a straight f line. What do you mean driving erratically? There's two lanes. The other lane's full. I'm going in a straight line. And he said, no, don't worry about it. We have camera footage from not only this building, but two buildings down. And you were literally just driving in a straight line. She's a fault. She f tried to lie. What a lying bitch i will never forget that she tried to lie because she f***ed up see ooh, just thinking about that makes me so mad and that's why you always want it you always want evidence man dude i'm so dude that i i i am i'm still so mad about that because you know what one of the first things i did was when i got out of my car is i went over to her car to make sure she was okay my car was completely totaled i crawled out of my car and i went over to make sure she was okay i will never forget that man Ooh, that still makes me mad to this day okay anyway sorry sorry i don't normally actually get angry man that was really that that's oh man that still makes me mad man i can't believe she did that i cannot believe she tried to say that i hit her when she literally pulled out in front of me anyway Look at this situation. Look at this situation. Look at this. This is literally a swim and swipe. You cared about them a lot and they threw you under the bus. It just, the entire situation, man, was just so f crazy because this, this person, they f up. I literally almost die and then they lie about it. W like, what a selfish absolute vile person the thing is is they're probably gonna do it again and they might get away with it absolutely ridiculous dude don't dude 
I'm telling you, man, don't trust people, man. People lie all the time, man. Maybe I've just had bad luck in that regard in life. But I don't know, man. People try to lie to me all the time, man.